let's talk about ASIO, which stands for Audio Stream Input and Output, invented by Steinberg. If you guys have seen my screen captures, and if you look in the upper right corner, it says direct sound. But I only do that because I cannot use ASIO during screen captures. It doesn't work. I've tried it, it does not work. So I have to use direct, direct sound, which is not ideal because number one, there is a long latency. Number two, the audio quality is not as good as ASIO. Not only does ASIO give you less latency, but the thing about ASIO is it gives you, it gives your audio ace direct communication with your digital audio workstation software. Um, basically, it, just like I was talking about earlier, <laughs> you know, cut out the middle man, ASIO cuts out the middle man. The middle man being either Windows or Mac OS. So it, it allows you to, it allows your audio interface to directly communicate with your software and that gives you the best quality with the lowest latency. So ASIO is awesome. Use it whenever possible. Um, I, and I don't know about ASIO for all. I think that it's kind of a workaround, but I think that it might work with, uh, it might give you, obviously give you better latency. I'm not sure about the audio quality aspect of ASIO for all, but your best bet if you are aiming to record audio is to buy a dedicated interface. Even if it's a $100 interface, even as a $50 one from like Behringer or like a, a Focusrite um, Scarlett 2i2 or 2i, I don't know if a 2i1 exists, but I know that they, at one point they sold a $100 interface or buying used is also an option. So um, definitely get an ASIO compatible set, uh, sound card interface and be done with it, really. Like, <laughs> there's no reason not to, in my opinion, other, other than being absolutely dirt poor. That's the only reason otherwise. Um, even if you had to rent one, you know, rent one. 